Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press, and if you want to improve your WordPress publishing, you should get the Publish Press plugins. In this video, I'm going to show you how to improve your publishing by adding tabs to your content. These will be really useful if you need to display a lot of content in a small area. The tabs are mobile friendly and they can be horizontal, like this one you see here, or they can also be vertical. And they can be customized with your colors and design. These tabs are available in the new Gutenberg block editor in WordPress, and you can use them if you install the Publish Press Blocks plugin. It's completely free to download from WordPress.org. So if you want to follow along with this video and create your own blocks, you can just grab this plugin for free and you can do what I'm doing right now. I have a test site installed here and you can see that Publish Press Blocks is active on this site. Its menu link is in the main WordPress menu on the left-hand side. And let's see how it works. I'm going to go to Posts, Add New, and I'm going to create a post. Post with tabs. And I'm going to click on the plus icon so I can add a new block. I'll search for tabs, and there we go. This is the advanced tabs block that comes with the Publish Press Blocks plugin. Once you click on it, it will automatically be set up for you. It's set up in a horizontal layout with three tabs, and you can just click your cursor on each tab to change the title. Let's have apples, oranges, and bananas as well for, for my three tabs. And if I want to add more, I can click on the plus icon here, and another tab automatically pops up. And this one can be grapes. So you can add as many of these as you want. And if you make a mistake, you can just hit on this X and that will remove the tab for you. Once you have your tab set up, you can start typing or adding images or adding anything else you want, whether it's videos or maps inside these tabs. To take a simple example, you can click on the apples tab so that it's active and then I'm gonna copy and paste in some content in there. I can then go over to oranges. On the oranges tab, I'm going to do something a little more interesting. Instead of simply adding text, how about I go for text and an image as well? There we go, the media and text block. For the left side, I'm going to upload an image. And on the right side, I can add some text. Just to make it look a little better. There we go, so the text matches the image for that particular block. Then next, I can go over to the Bananas tab. Inside the Bananas tab, I'm going to add a YouTube video. This happens to be one of my kids' favorite songs. It's the Minions Banana Song and I think it would be a perfect fit for this tab. And then when it comes to the grapes tab, I have grabbed an image from the Imgur site. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. My kids recommended this again. And this is a picture of a grape that has a little raspberry for a hat. So everything works correctly inside it. You can add videos, you can add maps, you can add anything you would add to a normal post. They are simply arranged in tabs. Let's take a look at some of the settings for the tabs. You have a tabs style setting over on the right side. You can choose to have them horizontal or vertical. It's as simple as that to move between them. This is the choice for desktop. And if you want to, you can have one choice for desktop, another choice for tablet, and a third choice for mobile. When it comes to the individual tabs themselves, you can choose which of these is open by default when people first visit the page. And then as you go down, it's possible to control all of the individual color items for your tabs. Now, these colors, the red, the black, and the gray are taken from the theme automatically. These come from WordPress. If you're 
theme has a different color scheme, you're probably going to have different colors here. But you can choose whatever you want. For example, if you choose red, you'll see that the background color of the tabs is now red. Or you can click on custom color and you can choose an entirely different color. The same is true for not just the background, but also the text color. You can change it to red or you can change it to anything else you might like. And these are the default choices for tabs that are not active. And these are the choices for the active tab. So if I choose something here, it should change the background color for the active tab, which is grapes. There we go. A little further down, you have a similar set of choices, but for the actual background area behind your content. There we go. The background of the whole tab area is now red. Let me change that up. Okay, that's not quite what I want. Okay, yeah, let me go for a, a much lighter shade there. And oh, let me, if you do lose it like I did there, just click on the block itself and your choices will come back. And for the text color, okay, the text color I'm not going to be able to see on this grapes tab. Let me move to apples and okay, red text. Okay, how about a, a much darker red color there? So it's possible to customize whether the tabs are showing horizontal or vertical, and it's possible to customize all of the colors inside the tabs. You have a choice of one color for the active tabs, one color for the tabs which are not showing, and also for the background color and all the text elements as well. Your final choice here is for the border settings. You have a choice of what the borders look like for the actual tabs and the body. You can choose a solid border, and let me make the border a little bigger so you can see what we're dealing with here. Okay, let me make it black as well. Okay, now it's easy to see exactly what we're dealing with the border. This is probably thicker than you would do on a real site. This is solid, this is dashed, and this is dotted. And as with all the other elements, you can choose the color. And additionally, you can choose the border radius as well. You can make all of the tabs and the content more rounded if you want. There we go. That's quite a nice effect there. All of the tabs and the content inside it are rounded. Let me click update and I'll see what this looks like on the front of the site. There we go. Okay, maybe I did make it a little bit too rounded. You can see that the, the text is overlapping the border there, but these tabs are working smoothly. And if I want to make any changes, I can go back to edit the post, go back to the border. Okay, the border's too rounded. And my changes are made as easily as that. Remember the demo that I showed you at the beginning with the horizontal and vertical tabs? These are really easy to set up. I have copy and pasted that text into my demo site here. These are my tab examples. And it is almost identical to what I've just shown you. We have these horizontal tabs and you could do it in just a couple of minutes. So these horizontal tabs and vertical tabs are really useful if you have a lot of content on your site that you need to show in a small space, and you can do it completely free using the Publish Press Blocks plugin. So the Publish Press plugins really can improve your WordPress publishing. And if you're a Gutenberg user, go ahead and grab this plugin now. In addition to tabs, it has tons of other blocks that will make your publishing life much better on WordPress. Thank you.